The Reading School District has one of the highest levies on the May ballot, but school leaders there tell our James Pilcher the new money is needed now more than ever. The district hasn't had any new funds in more than a decade. Without it, it could face cuts. It's part of our ongoing series, Crisis in the Classroom. The last time Reading Community Schools passed a tax levy was in 2009 and leaders have also reduced its operating budget by $1.8 million since 2020. It currently spends about $17 million annually. Now, the 1600 student district is asking for a 9.99 mil increase in property taxes for the schools. Superintendent Jason Innix says it would raise taxes by $30 a month on a home worth $100,000. Indic says the district could be looking at laying off at least 23 employees without the new money. It's not really going to replace some of the cuts that we made. This is really maintaining status quo in our districts um, without having additional reductions or, you know, and it's also not going to get us a whole lot of new things either. Damon Davis was the Reading Middle School principal for four years and is now director of curriculum. He says the last round of cuts pushed class sizes to nearly 30 students per room in some cases. It changes everything. It really does. It's it has a significant impact all the way from kindergarten through 12th grade at the elementary level. Class size is going up. The Reading School Board unanimously voted to put it on the ballot, delaying it from May 2020 because of the pandemic. Treasurer Jennifer Burke says the district is operating on a 2009 budget with costs too. One of the things that are, are facing schools is is just the the rising cost of. Of, of you know things like salaries and benefits and 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 now we even are seeing um, inflation that is affecting our utilities and, and other supplies. James Pilcher, Local 12 News. Election day is next Tuesday, May 3rd. You can also send in an absentee ballot between now and then.